Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Oh, sorry. Uh, what should I say? Oh, I'm Tina. Uh, finally, we will talk about how to use annotation to configure our filter instead of using what? XML, right? Because XML is uh, tedious. <laughs> okay. Uh, it has you have to remember the tags and uh, annotation is much easier <clears throat> this web filter annotation has those uh, attributes you can config okay uh, wait for wait for a second and uh, this one is interesting do you remember the servlet So like if you want to specify the name, like last demo we actually used, you just use the name attribute. But a filter, you have to use a filter name to specify that a filter. Okay, that's the difference. And this part is the same uh, uh, value and UI pattern, and it's required. And uh, if you only has uh, 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 what's the uh, UI pattern, web filter, like you just need to have the you don't need to have attribute value okay by default it's assigned to value you can also use your pattern they are alias to each other and only this one is required you can specify more than one or more UI patterns to which the filter applies and either of the attribute can be used but not both if you want to specify multiple just using like this way right you can have a dispatcher types. Do you remember? Dispatcher, uh, which is in XML, we have a dispatcher that a tag. Here you can have a request, you can have include, you can have a, what's the thing? Uh, forward, arrow, uh, async, those, right? And the default is a request. So if it's a request, you don't need to give the value there. And you can have a servlet name. <clears throat> Uh, which is specify the servlets to which filter applies which means suppose you are not using your pattern you are using a servlet name then you can use this one uh servlet names okay you can use this one but this one is a little bit different from uh xml web.xml file uh, xml to do configuration because uh, in the xml file when do when we do con configuration you can either use a server name or either use URL pattern. But for web annotation, you must have a URL pattern. You know, then you can have a server name. So they are not 100% exactly the same. Okay, you can have display name, description, async support, init prompt, and a small icon, large icon. Uh, some of them are not used are used by the web container like a small icon large icon description display name okay mostly for configuration what you need is a few uh, value patterns dispatch types several names okay to limit the scope and async support you need prompts okay but you can put all of them now I want to show you an example for that okay Go back, discard. Uh, here. Hmm. What should I do? Uh, how about I just um, uh, just create another two filters? Okay. Here I will create another one. But this filter eventually I will not use it. Okay, image filter. Okay, to be a filter, we have to implement filter. Make sure it's a Jakarta. Okay, and now, uh, you can we can override first. Only override this one. Um, mm, let's see. Okay. Let's override all of them to make sure it will still go through our uh, lifecycle methods. And then now we will use web filter, okay? And uh, here we will use uh, URL pattern. 
and here we can add some of them web this one okay only when we, we access this web something okay and then what we will do is I will add the initialization method prompts okay here we will add to web init prompt and here uh, name is uh, uh, filter name and the value is uh, image image filter okay we can add a multiple web init prompt name equals uh, what does it say a description okay value pro com compress image size okay does that make sense okay and uh, that is this one what others I can configure let me see okay what others mm, dispatcher type how about we add them uh, dispatcher this dispatcher type here it has an array right array is uh, dispatcher dot request and if we want to have array how can we add an array like this way this way you dispatcher arrow dispatcher forward hmm. oh no, no no let's use the request okay dot request okay like this way good these are two type uh, to configure dispatcher which is uh, compared to this one we have a dispatcher okay oh, sorry and now I will, I will do yes uh, suppose in the init I want to get those init parameters but uh, for this one what I want to do is I will just uh, copy from previous one from here okay from here I don't want to rewrote because it's the same okay uh, init I uh, will call image filter okay and and the key value will get this key and the value key and value okay and also for destroy I will just call same thing as this one and the call destroy here and uh, here I just add a image uh, filter destroy method okay, to make sure they are actually initialized and the destroy method being called and uh, for this one sorry <laughs> sorry I will copy paste because we the main thing we demo is demo the annotation right it's not a demo the actual task we actually doing in the filter so I want to save our time this is a uh, image filter and here I will change it to use another symbol one and the same thing for here and two okay like this more clear very good so now let's deploy our application and see uh, the life cycle and also check the uh, filter chain and uh, start mm. okay now uh, deploy successfully I will go back to our browser sorry I have to quit and start again I was doing something <laughs> I don't want you guys to see. <laughs> okay, now go back. D. So, uh, let's take a look at. Oh, yo, I forgot something to show you. Uh, let's let's start again. Uh, uh, let's farm here first. Okay, let's farm here first. Uh, first, uh, when we access slash.
Now, first, when we access the slash, which is the root, okay, when we access, you will see the filter, image filter is not going through because here we configure the URL to have a web, right, leading web. So now if we want to make sure this one is being called, uh, we have to go to this URL. Mm, has another slash here. Okay. Dun. Now take a look at where's my image filter? See here? Uh, see here, image filter is being called now. When I refresh several times, uh, refresh, refresh, take a look at. Okay. Oh, sorry. See here? Uh, okay. What, 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 what it is. Okay. So here, request login, authentication, image filter. And uh, request login, authentication, image filter. And all of them are the same, like this, this order. And we will discuss order later. But the, basically, when uh, we use annotation, it still go through our uh, filter, right? Which is uh, correct. But now, now I will clear and close this one. Close, stop. You will see, see here, image field destroy. We are also being called, okay? And now let's restart. I, I cleared the output, so we didn't see the uh, init method being called. It should be somewhere. See here. Oh, oh no, no, it's here. See here. F image field init code. And uh, I have a key value, key value pair. So this one means web filter. It works, right? And now let's test another one, which is uh, server name. And here we use dispatch request. You can test the forward by yourself, okay? Another one is the server letter names. Okay, suppose here I will give server letter name. What is my welcome? Is welcome server let. Okay. Now I have to have a string. Okay. Now let me uh, remove this one, see if it works. Hey? It works. Let's see, okay. Your pattern. So now my the, 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 this slides is wrong. This slides I copied from uh, some website tutorial. But uh, when I change when we change to only have server late names, the UI pattern is not required, right? One of them is required. So I will f sorry for that. I'll fix it. Okay. Redeploy. See if it works. Okay. Now I will turn to using server name to do the matching. So deploy successfully. I will do the refresh, and you will see the image is going inside. And uh, if I, uh, this is from the root, and if I from another one, which is a web welcome ABC from this one. Okay, and go to the end, remove this one, add this one. It is still go to our image filter, see here. So server name also works, and we didn't specify URL pattern. Uh, so here, uh, now let me, uh, let me do another change here. If I remove both of them, it, is, it doesn't work, see here? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, it doesn't have warning, but obviously this web filter, no one will go inside, okay? Doesn't they have any warning here. It is still initialized, but when we call, doesn't go inside because we didn't specify the UI pattern and uh, the name, right? I will keep it here. And I will make a change. We have to change. This is not a. Uh, 
how can I make a slide this one and uh, one of them is required um, optional all of them is optional you know. but if you want to make it work then URL pattern or uh, server name one of them you should you have to specify otherwise the serverity is useless so that's it for this demo. I will just stop here. Uh, this video, we only talk about how to use uh, annotation to configure our WebLabX, uh, to configure our filter. And the next video is, suppose we have multiple uh, filter and we all use annotation to configure. What's the order for them? Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.